Demetrius Jamel Morant has not played basketball in a little while, but he is looking ready to take a primed Grizzlies team to the middle of their Western Conference. I just want to take a second to talk about the Grizzlies because they have been very, very good past couple years, except for last year where they didn't make the playoffs, kind of tanked. I guess you could tank. The whole roster was just completely shot from like top to bottom. I mean, guys were out left and right, and we'll see that in the depth chart in a sec. But uh, in 2022, they won 56 games, 56-26. 23, 51, and 31. Then last year, they went 27, 55. So what's the thing with all those seasons? I mean, when John Morant plays, they're literally a 50-win team. And a 50-win team, according to last year's standings, that gives you a top four seed, like guaranteed playoff spot. And it's the fact to me that John Morant has proven, more than proven, that he is a difference maker when he's healthy. Now, in terms of like my predictions on that, like if they're going to make a Western Conference final or the, even the finals or something like that, I don't, I don't really know, but I do have something that I, that I wrote down that was kind of interesting. You'll have to listen to this. Ready for this? Dallas was in this exact same scenario last year to two years ago, however you want to look at it. They were contenders. 50-win team, very good team, you know, Western Conference Finals. Then they missed the playoffs completely, just completely missed the playoffs. Then in the lottery of that year, they drafted a center. Okay, cool. Uh, the center then helped them win and get to the finals. So what do the Grizzlies do? Hey, contenders, John Morant's here, we're contending. Hey, everyone gets injured. Missed the playoffs. Okay, draft the center. Draft a really good center. I mean, Zach Eady, I think, is really good. Can win Rookie of the Year. We'll talk about that later. Um, but then, let's maybe predict this year. Zach Eady comes in, starting center. Helps them win, gets to the playoffs. It's the exact same scenario that Dallas was in last year, two years ago. Like, to a T. And it's kind of funny because neither team was really trying to tank, per se. Like, why would you try and tank when you got, like, Luka and John Moran on the same team, or not on the same team, but on your team, respectively. So I think this, this Grizzly squad has a good shot at being a very good team in the West, especially because the West was loaded without them last year. Let's just take a look at the depth chart. And I mean, it says like out for like, I mean, I'm not joking when I was saying their entire squad last year was just completely cooked, but John Morant, day to day, that's cool. Starting five is really, really good for the Grizzlies. John Morant, the Marcus Smart bit, I mean, Celtics, where they were really good with Marcus Smart, but not good enough, and that's why they got rid of him. Dumped him to the Grizzlies. I mean, look at this. John Morant, Marcus Smart, Desmond Bain, kind of under, uh, undersized of the four, or excuse me, the three. Kind of a shooting guard, but it's okay. Ja uh, then Jaron Jackson, who was playing the five a decent amount in, in, in Memphis, but then you pair him with Zach Eady, who can like block shots, big boy, Dominate in the paint and then you put Jaron Jackson who that's the main thing everyone says is like put him as like the kind of the off-ball Weak side guy and he'll be like an amazing defensive guy I mean he, he has already won a defensive player of the year So he's been very very good, but I'm excited to see what this defense looks like because Marcus smart in the back in the backcourt Desmond Bain's not shabby either John Morant is just high energy then in the front court holding on the paint you got Jackson or Jaron Jackson and Zach Eady like that's a squad. Off the bench, I mean, the bench is not terrible. I mean, Scottie Pippen Jr., I like them. I watched him in the Summer League. He had a triple-double in the Summer League, and I was like, whoa, this guy's like, he's really, really good. I watched the game that Zach Eady got hurt, too. So I watched a lot of the young, their young guys, and even though Gigi Jackson is hurt, since he's out right now, that's a guy who was, like, healthy last year, who, could, who came in and balled out. I mean, considering the fact that they won, what, 27 games? Balled out as much as he could, right? Vince Williams, another very, very good guy. Then you got Brandon Clark, who has come back off, of, I believe it's an Achilles injury. Uh, Sancho Aldama's a good big guy. Not a ton of like super big depth outside of here. I mean, Luke Kennard, pretty good, pretty solid guy. So that's that's a pretty good squad. I mean, you got some guys you could you could throw in, but the main starting five is very, very good and better than a lot of starting fives in the league. I mean, I've talked about this for weeks now, but the Denver Nuggets starting five is not looking good. They let go of KCP, and now that starting five is like Jamal Murray, who's been eh. Christian Brown, who's cool, but not like a starting guard yet, in my opinion. MPJ, fire. Aaron Gordon, fire. And Nicole Jokic is fire, obviously. But this team is, this starting five is very close to that. I mean, in terms of like five for five, in terms of playoffs, if everyone in this Grizzly squad is healthy, you got John Morant, Marcus Smart, Desmond Bain, Triple J, and Zach Eady. I don't even think Edie really has to have like experience. He's seven foot four and he's like 300 pounds. He's a monster. Like he's gonna he's gonna destroy some people down low. So especially in the West where you got guys like Jokic and Wemby now, you're gonna want guys like Zach Edie to go in and just block shots, mess stuff up, 
put fouls on, especially when you got Jaron Jackson Jr. down low as well. This team's going to do very, very good against some of the big dogs in the West. Once again, this Grizzly squad is not like amazing, but it's doable. That starting five is definitely very, very good to compete. Then you got the young guys who, if they can contribute some, I mean, some of them got a lot of, a lot of experience last year. Wide open slot, hey, just go and chuck up shots. And do, that's basically good what Gigi Jackson's calling was last year is just do that. But I mean, these guys can, these guys can play some ball. So now that we looked at all the depth for the Grizzlies, how can John Morant make this a contending team? I'm going to keep it a buck. Don't be surprised if John Moran is averaging around 30 points per game this year. It just seems ready for that kind of jump. We can look here. His scoring has basically gone up the majority of the seasons he's played in, right? So 17, 19, 27. That's a big shot up, right? Uh, and then 26, 25. It's basically kind of stayed in that 25, 26 range. But he only played nine games last year. And so that volume for that 25 points per game is kind of like, eh. You know, we can look at his efficiency. It looks a little bit better than it was the season before. Uh, in some aspects, the three-point shooting is definitely the worst that it was. And that was just because volume went up and his efficiency stayed, or his uh, makes stayed the same. But I mean, outside of that, John Morant, in terms of just being a point guard, and if you if you tell me, hey, my point guard is gonna give you 25, eight, and five to six, that's, that's pretty good, especially because he's only 24 years old. It's pretty good. And John Moran is one of those high-flying, high-energy point guards that's just going to make a difference on both sides of the ball. I mean, he's a, he's very good offensively, talented shot creator. I mean, not necessarily like straight-up shooter. I wouldn't call him like a very good like shooter, uh, especially if he's attempting five, six threes a game. But in terms of like finishing, dunking, contact, like playmaking, his playmaking numbers are pretty high, honestly. Eight assists a game with uh, three turnovers. It's not bad. It's about two assists per, per turnover not terrible and then not like this matters that much but i mean like 0.6 blocks for a point guard pretty good i'd like to see him just get up and just like like volleyball smack some stuff down but i mean i like john ja morant i like where the grizzlies are at with john ja morant once again don't be shocked if john ja morant is averaging close to 30 points per game this season just because of the sheer numbers and they don't necessarily like need that scoring from him well maybe they do but he, he can give it nonetheless if they need it or not he can give that especially if they're like hey we're really just going to give you the ball this year, this year and just like make stuff happen and just be the star. He could be like around 30 and 8, 30 and 9. We'll see. We'll have to see where that goes. But notice here, people don't mention that he's not like extremely healthy. I don't, I don't feel like anyone's mentioned that he's never played more than 67 games in a season, which barely clears the 65 game limit for any accolades, awards, any of that stuff. I mean, 63 or 67, 63, 57, 61, and then 9, like... I didn't realize that he didn't play as many games as I thought he did. I mean, I feel like he's always there, but probably because when he's playing, he's making a very, very big difference. But hopefully he could play 65, 70 games this year. If he does that, here's my verdict. Grizzlies will 100% be contenders. I think they already are with John Morant being in the lineup. Um, not even if, even if he plays back to like 55, 60 games, I think they're still going to win. 90% of those games that he's in and that will cause them to be around a maybe, maybe a 51 team so uh, I, don't, I obviously think OKC is still a lock for number one in the West I don't think that anyone else can really take that from him but I think I, I will guarantee like I don't bet money but I would love to bet money on the Grizzlies being a top six seed I don't think that's that I don't think that is that crazy to say as a hot take or anything uh, but John Moran is that dude. Zach Eady coming in I think he's going to run rookie of the year you got a former two former defensive player of the year in the starting lineup I forgot about that. Yeah, Marcus Smart and Jaron Jackson together. It's a pretty good team. Overall, I mean, they've, they, I mean, we all know about like that Memphis, like grit and grind, still kind of in effect today. Not like so much of like the Mike Conley, Zach Randolph, you know, Marcus all days, but this team, high energy. They're a young, good team that can make, they make a lot of noise. Um, it's better than a lot of young cores in the league right now. So that's all I got for today. I'm really enjoying the Grizzlies so far. Uh, I'm really excited to see where the Grizzlies go this year, if you haven't noticed that already. But uh, that's all I got for today. We out.